I would want to discuss the impending failure of a number of large banks and the impact that this would have on the asset management company AMC. The following are the most notable characteristics immediately after the announcement of their earnings. Goldman Sachs and Charles Schwab Bank of America found themselves in a precarious position. Please continue to check back and let's go and get some money. A bull from Peru submitted the following statement weight. Charles Schwab has a ratio of 329 unrealized loss to equity that's triple the ratio of Silicon B Bank before failure. Let's begin by defining unrealized loss to equity because Charles Schwab is going to be the next company to be discussed. Holy crap. Assets and liabilities are two aspects of a company that are present in every sort of business, including companies, banks, and organizations. Total equity, or more accurately, the total value of the company is the amount that is left over after liabilities are subtracted from assets. This result is referred to as the total value of the company. On the other hand, as of this moment, the unrealized loss for Charles Schwab is three times greater than the total equity worth of the corporation. During the time that it failed in March of 2021, Silicon Valley Bank had an unrealized loss to equity ratio that was lower than 97%. During the same time period, the ratio for Charles Schwab's was 130%, while the ratio for signature banks was 140%. As of the end of the third quarter, that ratio has reached 329%, which is an increase from the beginning of the quarter. According to BAMS, Charles Schwab is now operating on loans from the government or through a bank term funding program, which is also known as the Bank Rescue Facility. It is also possible that you are aware of the fact that the defaulting of consumers on loans such as credit card loans, vehicle loans, School loans, mortgages, and corporate loans is causing an increasing number of these institutions' unrealized losses to be realized. In the event that you were unaware of credit card defaults, you are currently experiencing these losses. Defaults on automotive loans and defaults on student loans following their all-time high in 2008, the rates of default on corporate and commercial mortgages are currently at their highest levels ever recorded. When compared to the first half of 2008, this year has seen a greater number of important companies filing for bankruptcy. This indicates that financial institutions are taking on historically high amounts of losses that have not yet been realized. Additionally, Turf, a stakeholder in Goldman Sachs, tweeted that the company has experienced a third decrease in earnings. It was he who reported a 33% decrease in earnings for the third quarter and blamed it on the fact that the United States-based firm had closed fewer deals as a result of the market conditions being depressed. Gavin also tweeted that Charles Schwab, which recently revealed that its earnings are down 30% year-over-year, had the greatest decrease in profits since the financial crisis of 2008. Funding agency for capital projects, the bank's expenses also climbed dramatically during the quarter, mostly as a result of writing down its assets in real estate and its stakes in the lending platform Green Sky. This development occurred during the course of the quarter. It is without a doubt the commercial mortgage defaults that caused the commercial mortgage market to be shaken up and drastically affected the value of a great number of commercial properties that are entirely responsible for this. The New York-based company reported earnings of $2 billion for the third quarter, which is a decline from revenue of $3 billion for the same period the previous year. While you may argue that Goldman Sachs does not appear to be facing any issues, you could also point out that a profit of $2 billion is still a significant amount of money. As can be seen, during the preceding quarter, Bank of America had an increase in the amount of unrealized loss, which went from 100 billion euros to 100 billion euros to 131 billion euros. Over the course of a single quarter, this represents a surge of $30 billion, which indicates that the $2 billion profit might very well turn into a loss of $28 billion. Naturally, Goldman Sachs and Bank of America are being contrasted in this context, however, all of these financial institutions are dealing with tremendous losses that have not yet been realized and are still waiting to be realized. Marge X and their MP Shield mechanism came to my attention as I was looking for a cryptocurrency trading platform that protects average investors from being subjected to unfair market manipulation. Marge X not only provides this, but it also provides a copy trade tool that is incredibly user friendly. This facility makes it feasible for even non experts to mimic the most successful experts that they have chosen. There is no fee associated with using the Marks Copy Trading website. All of the profits from the strategy are distributed equally amongst traders and followers. When Margin X is utilized, it is not difficult to replicate a position. Simply make a deposit of the cryptocurrency or collateral that you want to trade, select the amount of the strategy that you want to imitate, and then indicate that you agree to the rules before clicking Follow Now. To add insult to injury, 
The investment collateral that you select can be utilized to trade any asset that the expert trades. To put that into perspective, gains are always distributed in accordance with the form of distribution that you select. Just like trading in general, copy trading is not without its share of danger. It is because of this that professionals are considered experts they are not always correct. However, as can be seen from the narrative, B disclosed that it incurred unrealized losses on securities held till maturity amounting to $131 billion during the third quarter. This figure represents an increase from the previous quarter's total of over $106 billion. The unrealized losses of Bank of America are depicted in this graph in relation to the assets of the bank. The company has seen a loss of $130 billion, which is almost 20% of its overall value, out of their assets that total $600 billion. For additional information, it appears that Bitcoin platforms, in addition to banks, are experiencing difficulties. To be more specific, WWIRE tweeted that Justin Binance Us has stopped all users from withdrawing boring dollars and has acknowledged charges that it is insolvent about its financial situation. Your funds will not be sent to you by Binance, however. You are still able to convert your dollars into stablecoins and then transfer the stablecoins to another platform. It is very evident that Binance is in a state of financial ruin and will not be able to repay its customers. Currencies that are stable can still be removed from their wallets and moved to other wallets that store stable currencies. In light of the dire circumstances that are currently confronting both banks and cryptocurrency exchanges, it is quite probable that Binance will follow suit and cease operations within the next few weeks. This is because FTX, Genesis, and other cryptocurrency exchanges that were previously in operation have all declared bankruptcy and are currently insolvent. As you would have guessed, an intriguing report about AMC was published, but it was removed almost immediately after it was published. Despite the fact that the item was titled a meme stocks a buy right now, Suspender P tweeted that it was actually a two-part narrative. Furthermore, Suspender P stated that the fact that it was removed from the system within hours or minutes of its posting suggested that it was obviously not intended for public consumption. Ben, who is the author of the film Dumb Money, additionally stated, I know this is controversial to some people, but the AMC community is proving over and over that they are carrying the roaring kitty torch retail traders fighting the good fight in support of a company they love. There is no doubt that the mainstream media is hesitant to publish anything that could be considered favorable regarding meme stocks, such as AMC and GameStop. The fact that the author of the film D Money is a supporter of both AMC and GameStop is something that I think is admirable. Despite this, a significant number of GameStop elitists believe that AMC is the true squeeze, despite the fact that the majority of actual monkeys purchase both companies. With the tweet, you can't make this up, and that it's okay Frank expressed his belief. I wanted to conclude up today by discussing how ineffective the Securities and Exchange Commission C and the United States Treasury are. For the purpose of ensuring that no one robs the bank, we decided to hire a bank robber. He claims that the United States Treasury has chosen J.P. Morgan Chase to oversee the integrity of payments, however. There are problems that have arisen as a result of Jeanette Yellen, the Secretary of the Treasury, and the bank. Claims made by a whistleblower with regard to unethical behavior and the problematic history of J.P. Morgan, even though J.P. Morgan has been subjected to huge fines for violating securities rules over the course of the years.